Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how you can animate the pattern of the God rays that is applied on this spotlight. I have a gobo. Here are the attributes that are applied to that gobo, which is basically a simple noise. So if you need more information about the process, I will add a link in the description for the video that will give you the details. So the tricky part about animating a texture is that it's easy to get started, but it's difficult to fine tune it. So plan ahead what you want to do. So you would minimize or eliminate the amount of editing you need to do. And the reason why it's difficult is because as you can see here, I have the scale and I want to change that pattern. So you can see here, any change that is happening is affecting that pattern. Okay. So what if I want to animate from here? Well, simply put, you go to the beginning of the timeline, right mouse button on the attribute you want to animate and then set key. Now the difficult part is that you don't really see that key. So if I go here towards the end frame 240 and I change this and because I have this button activated, that means it's automatically going to key that. And you can see here, it shows you this red channel. I'm gonna do the same for the amplitude. As you can see, changing the amplitude could make a huge difference. So I'll go with that just so the animation would be more evident. I'm gonna go all the way till the end of the timeline. You can also click this button here to go to the very beginning. And then I'm gonna make the amplitude highest. So this way now, when I move the timeline, you will see that there is going to be a lot of differences from the beginning towards the end, especially towards the end, the pattern is almost going to disappear because I have reduced the amplitude. Okay, so we have animation here, but where is that animation? Like, how do we actually keep track of it? And because of this complexity, I did not include this segment of the animation in my previous video. So how do we get to the editing part? It all starts with this panel here. Graph editor. Okay, so there's nothing here. What do we do? Well, we need to look for that simple noise and then we will be able to click on it and locate the animation that we need. So I'm going to stop the rendering here. I'm going to go to the hypershade. So this is the light that I want. Here's the hypershade. If I click graph, graph material unselected, that's not going to give me really the object. So instead, what I need to do is to just hit the in and out because it's already selected. So if you're dealing with a material, you don't go uh, by clicking here. Instead, you go into graph, then graph material unselected. But with lights, you can just select the light and then click the in and out. So you can see here, this is the Arnold filter, which is basically the gobo. And this is the node for it, right? Now here, this is the texture that I'm looking for, right? So if I click on the in and out now, it's going to lead me to that simple noise texture. Okay, so now we can actually see the keys, right? Beginning and end. And now we can edit it. But furthermore, let's say you wanna have a complex control over the noise animation. You go back into that panel that I mentioned, you go to the panels, and then panel, and then graph editor. Now that I have that node or the texture selected, you can see that you have the ability to change the keys. So let's say you want to make it like to start with a kind of a longer ease maybe, or if you want to uh, add a key, for instance, in the middle. So especially in the case of adding keys other than beginning and end, Let's say here, I want to change this and this. So now that you have these keys, you have the ability to go and modify them, go with a roller coaster effect, or maybe you figure that, you know what, the amplitude was too much. And by the way, if you want to know exactly what you're editing here, it shows here the noise versus the amplitude. So you can see here towards the end, the amplitude was pretty much vanishing all the patterns. So I can simply just move it around and then kind of tune it down a little bit so it wouldn't be too instant. I would make it as subtle as possible this way to get to this point of amplitude. Something that, you know, keeps that kind of gentle feeling. You click and hold Alt and then middle mouse button. You can also scroll in. So 
if you want to make this to be kind of more like this you can just grab these handles or tangents yeah so due to the um, issue or the struggle of you know getting into that specific pattern and then also to editing it in the graph editor it gets a little bit kind of uh, tricky or it gets a little bit too much information so that's why I'm making this video separately so let me just read to uh, uh, or go through a recap you select the light that does have the gobo and then you go to the hyper shade and then after you select that light you go here into the in and out and then you select this gobo node and then you click on in and out again and now you get to the texture that you have applied as a gobo then you go to panel panel then graph editor and those are the keys all right 